Hello everybody, my name is Keckles, and regardless of my current tone of voice, I'm actually very excited to be doing this. I just can't sleep tonight, and it is 5 a.m. So I'm a very tired boy. Um, I'm going to be doing a randomized Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. This is going to be a lot of fun because I have never done a randomized Nuzlocke before. I just recently finished my first, I guess you would call it non-randomized Nuzlocke, and it was a hell. I'm really not good at planning for the future like I have seen some Nuzlockers do. Um, I was not able to cleverly manipulate the game to ensure that I got a Houndoom. Looking at you, Team Four Star. You clever sons of bitches. I also don't have three heads on a couch instead of one, so it's just me. Am I a boy or am I a girl? That is a good question, Elf Monster. I am a boy. Also, Gold is the best looking of all the trainers in any game, in my humble opinion. Um, so we would pick him anyway. My name is, of course, Heckles. I'm now doubting that I'm spelling that correctly. I believe I am. I don't think there is a proper way to spell a fake word. Yes, thank you, Elf Monster. Keckles, yes. Are you ready? I am, I am, I am. So I'm not going to lie, this is like the fifth time that I have attempted to start this, so we're gonna kinda just speed run through this. I have had to make a brand new randomized thing every single time I've started because I didn't want to feel like I was cheating and I wanted my overly excited reactions to be legitimate because that's definitely something we are going to hear in this video. So, I mean, I'm sure everybody has played Soul Silver or seen Soul Silver played at some point or another, so you probably have a faint idea of what is happening. Um, it's just general Pokemon malarkey getting you all settled into your new home. So while that is happening, I will go over the obligatory Nuzlocke introduction as to what is a Nuzlocke. And what are Nuzlocke rules? Was I supposed to go meet Lyra or was I supposed to go see Professor Elm? I don't remember. I think Lyra. Um, this is not Lyra's house, is it? No, it is. Hi, Lyra. Was I supposed to talk to you? Yeah, nope, I was right, Professor Elm. Um, so a Nuzlocke is a rule set for playing Pokemon where if a Pokemon faints in battle, it is considered dead. It needs to either be permanently deposited into a box or released. Odds are I will deposit it into a box because I'm a forgetful human being and I will not remember all the casualties at the end of this run. If your entire party faints, it is considered a game over and the Nuzlocke run is over prematurely. Um, let us hope it doesn't come to that, but there's a very good chance that it will come to that. Um, many people, including myself, do not consider a Nuzlocke to have started until you get Pokeballs. So any wipe leading up until that point will be null and void and you can continue. Another rule for Nuzlocke is usually you go off your trainer ID for what would be or for your starter. Since this is a complete randomizer and these are going to be randomized and I do not have Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. Totodile is the correct choice sitting in these Pokeballs. I'm just going to pick whichever one meets my fancy. So let us see what our choices are today. Got a Flareon. That is a good start. Got a Silcoon. Significantly worse start. And a Celio. A. the choice I am going to take because I have never really used Nice Type before. Funny enough, I was just talking to a friend about that earlier. Now, this goes into another section, I guess, another rule for a Nuzlocke. I would indeed like to give my Celio a nickname, and you have to nickname every single Pokemon you catch um, to further the attachment to said Pokemon, so when they die, it is even harder on you. Now, 
I should have, before I started this, settled on a naming theme beforehand to name everything after. Um, so we have a Celio here. Uh, let's think of a theme, think of a theme. I'm thinking we are going to go with... Flowers? Maybe? Um, yeah, let's... No, no. Hold on. I'll think of something. Let's just do a cheeky pause. After a quick search on the internet, I realized that flowers are stupid and we are going to go with food. And when I think of Celio, I think of the whale blubber nuggets from Fairly Odd Parents. However, that does not fit, so we are going to go with... Wait for it. Actually, would Blubber Nugget fit? I can make it fit. Blub... Burr... That'll have to do. Um... Blubber... Nugget. Hmm... Blubber Nougat? Uh, you know what? I got a better one. I know how to make this work. I think. Um, I don't even know how you spell Blubber. Blub... Blubber... Blubber Nug. There we go. Use your imagination to fill in the rest. So we got Blubber Nug the Celio. We're already using fake foods. Yes, I don't think I wanted that to be all caps because I think I said it to make Pokemon names lowercase, but whatever. So Professor Elm is going to use us, a ten-year-old, as a slave to go talk to Elf Monster, otherwise known as Professor Oak, otherwise known as I forget his actual name. I used to know it. Is it Samson, or is that the guy in Sun and Moon? I feel like that's the guy in Sun and Moon, who I thought was going to be way more important to the story, but ended up he was there for a whole five minutes. Now Lyra's going to talk to us. I already know the name of our rival. It's going to be my least favorite food in the world. Of course, Keckles does not uh, have to be named after food, because Keckles is unique and special and breaks the rules of the universe. First, I believe we have to show Blubbernug to our mom, though. Yes, totally a cute Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Celio's bigger than a 10-year-old. Like, he could probably sit on me and, uh, suffocate me. Yes, I remember how to make a phone call. Mother, you just dial things and hold it up to your ear. Sadly, I do not have running shoes yet, so I cannot run. However... Oh, uh, right, the uh, creepy scientist has to give the 10-year-old his phone number. We are going to get an interesting glimpse into our future here. We're going to have an Abra use foresight, and we are going to be able to see a potential future partner. Because one rule with Nuzlocke is the first Pokemon you see on every route is the only one you can catch. If said Pokemon happens to faint, you're screwed for that route. That does not go into effect until Pokeballs are caught. So I could say, come back here and have a Carnivine as my uh, first partner outside of Blubbernug. And of course, a big part of Nuzlocke is grinding because your team needs to be up to par. That was not very effective. I'm starting to think ice is more effective against grass. I might be wrong. I've never used an Ice-type Pokémon, so I'm not really sure how they work. That is significantly better. He is also frozen now. I forgot that was even a status effect. Um... What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. This Carnivine sucks, though. Oh, a big part of Nuzlocke is grinding and leveling up and keeping everyone on your team on par, unless you're, of course, playing X, Omega, Ruby, or Sun because there's XP share in those games. Some people use them, some people don't. 
do whatever you want. Um, a lot of people do that. You know, a lot of people record that. Will I? Probably not, because I am not funny and have nobody to play off of. If I did, I would. Again, looking at you, Team Four Star. Love you guys. Um, so a lot of that will be done off camera or off recording. Wow, an Inkata. That's significantly... Actually, an Inkata is pretty cool. I kind of like Inkata. Um, it will just have to be honor rules for the most part with some of the grinding. Because... I mean, you know, I'll... I'm... Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm... I'm... I don't know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? It is 5.10 a.m. I'm tired. Um... I'm not gonna lie. If a Pokemon faints, I'll kill it. I'll kill it on... in a recording, of course, but... it will be deposited in the box. Um... Do, 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 do. I want the running shoes so bad already. I'm bored already. I love this game, though. It's my favorite Pokemon game. We're about to get the running shoes. Um, yep, yep, yep. Follow him. Follow the old man. Ten-year-old. I feel like there's other rules I'm forgetting for Nuzlocke's. Um, I guess the, uh, there's the dupes clause. Which is very unlikely to appear in a randomizer, but I have seen it happen um, multiple times during one randomizer run, actually. Um, which the dupes clause basically means if a Pokemon appears, or if you run into another Pokemon in your first encounter on another route that you have previously caught on another route, you can ignore that Pokemon and you can then keep going until you find a Pokemon that you have never caught before and you can attempt to catch that one, that one counts as your first encounter. Um, alongside the dupes clause, there's also the shiny clause, which allows you to basically forego all former clauses and you can catch it no matter what route you're on because shinies are like one in a million. I don't think that's exactly correct, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Gotta activate those with a mouse. I'm playing on an emulator, by the way if you couldn't already tell from the tearing on the screen. Um, I'm sure there's other stuff I'm forgetting. Um, ah, you, regardless of the fact that you can only catch one Pokemon per route in um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, there was like headbutting trees and stuff and fishing. Both of those count as individual encounters and are considered, like, events, and you can catch them. Um, and you can catch them, but you can... A lot of people only do, like, either headbutts or fishing per route and or town. And I'm going to do that, too, because, one, you can only catch so many things from fishing. Um, and two, just... You know, don't want to have... Ooh, a Venomoth. Uh, having too many Pokemon kind of defeats the purpose of a Nuzlocke because some people play it, and I'm going to play it this way for my first randomizer, um, where if your entire team wipes, you are just allowed to deposit all those Pokemon and pull more out of the box. So that's probably what will end up happening at some point. We will probably have to bid adieu to Blubbernug and anybody else who comes afterwards and we will have to have a gen 2 it'll be like boruto it's like the original but not as good i'm sorry if you like boruto i do too i'm very curious uh a trico that'd be pretty cool to get i do like myself a trico even though it is the debatably worst of the Gen 3 starters, I think. Um, Torchic and Mudkip are way better, Torchic being the best. Not really big on water types unless it's Totodile. Totodile is the best Pokemon. I sure hope we get a Totodile. Honestly, Blubbernug feels really overpowered. Probably should have went with that Silcoon. Would be having a lot more problems, only being able to harden. Actually, 
Would I only have been able to harden with Silcoon? I think that would be the case. What would I do? I guess I'd have to go until, uh... I just hope I can catch a Pokemon with a Pokeball without having to weaken it. But even then, there's a rival battle coming up here, and... What would Silcoon do? <laughs> that would be kind of interesting, not gonna lie. I should just randomize it so every Pokemon is a Silcoon. And you have literally... You just... It's just a hardened battle. You have to see how far you can go. Well, you wouldn't be able to, I guess, after a while. Oh, hey, Elf Monster. This video, by the way, is going to keep going until I catch my first Pokemon, and I assure you my currently sparking attitude will improve in the next video. I am just really tired and couldn't fall asleep, and usually the more I talk, the more tired I get. So I figured this would be a good excuse to try this and would help me be tired. Whether that will be the case or not, I don't know, but I can feel my eyes starting to close themselves. So, I think it's working. I don't know if I'll get this uploaded before I fall asleep. <laughs> do, 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 do. Thank you, Elf Monster. There's also a portion of the randomizer that lets you set text to fastest, so you can just skip all this dialogue. I always really liked Professor Oak growing up, watching the, uh, anime. I, uh... Every episode that had Professor Oak in it, or had, like, Gary in it, was always, like, super duper hype to me. Just because I really liked those characters, and I always wished. It was just a personal wish of mine as a kid, and still to this day, since I still... I glossed over the X and Y anime, but I have been watching Sun and Moon, and I still wish Gary would come back. Um, like, I always wanted for at least a season for Gary to be one of Ash's traveling partners, but to my understanding, he's not actually dead, but for all intents and purposes, he seems to be dead. You know, it's just a you know, thought here, but I think I'm getting a Trico on this route. <laughs> Sell one Venom off. Actually, whatever Pokemon I get, I'm gonna have to hope that I can just catch it by throwing a Pokeball at it, because I think Blubbernug's just gonna murder it. Another thing the randomizer can do, if you've never used a randomizer before, um, I don't know if there's more than one, but this one, or the one I was using at least, um, one of the things it can do is when you randomize a, uh, thing, a ROM, um, it can produce a log of all the changes that were made, and it can, like, tell you what starters there are, uh, what, you know, Pokemon were randomized onto each route, um, how trainers' Pokemons are randomized. Oh, I wonder what Pokemon... Silver God. Um. Because he gets one of the starters, too. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> what a loser. Um. And it can show you, like, a list of the trainers and all their randomized Pokemon. And I looked at it for one of my attempts trying to set this up. And... There's a lot of fucking trainers in this game. Like, if I was reading it right, there's, like, 600 potential trainers. And whether that's true or not, I don't know. But there was a lot. And I guess that makes sense, because, spoiler warning, um, once you beat the Johto, um, league, like, get all eight Johto badges, and you go, uh and beat the Elite Four, and all that jazz, you get to go to Kanto, and you get to play through Kanto. Um, then you have to go fight the Elite Four again. So there's trainers, there's like double the amount of trainers in this game as there are in any other game, I think. 
And God help me, I really hope we can go to Kanto again someday. Please, Arceus, if you are listening, that is my one and only wish. <laughs> Excuse me. Ultra Sun and Moon is coming out, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of Sun and probably Moon. Lily went to Kanto, so please let us go to Kanto as well. I swear to God, if I end up with a Ninkata and a Trico and I could get a Carnivine and a Venomoth, I'm going to shit a brain. Because I've used a Ninkata before and I've used a Trico before, and the fun part of Nuzlocke is getting to use Pokemon you've never used before. Also, up until this moment, I forgot Carnivine was even a thing. And I'm not entirely sure Carnivine evolves into anything. Unless Carnivine is the evolved form already. I was going to look that up, but my phone is not over here, so I cannot look that up. We're just going to run from this battle. It is useless to us. Level 2 Ninkata is powerless against a level 9 Blubbernug. I forgot this thing existed, too. But, I did never, I did never, I never used the Shellos before, though, so, I wouldn't be opposed to catching one, as long as it's not a, Ninkata's pretty cool, though, I'm not gonna lie. Let's talk to Professor Elm, though, then we can, Professor Elm will give us Pokeballs, I think, no, Ly no, Lyra gives us Pokeballs, I think. Okay, so I gotta name this guy my least favorite food. It's not gonna fit. Damn it. Um. Use your imagination, that's chocolate. I hate chocolate with a burning passion. Chocol. Yeah, sure, whatever. Chocolate. Yep, you're welcome. Have fun looking for chocolate. Why do I hate chocolate, nobody asks? Um... Well, actually, that might be a story for another day. <laughs> well, actually, now I just don't like chocolate because I just kind of grew up not liking it. Now I just don't like the taste. Um, I like white chocolate, though. Um, when I was younger, I'll just tell the story now, and uh, it'll pass the time. I feel like this is a pretty big story to waste in a first video, though. But when I was younger, I, uh, kinda was scared that chocolate would make me it turn black. Like, I thought that's how... I was three, um, I'm not racist, mind you, um, nor is my family. That's just what I, what my three-year-old mind came up with, but I thought that African-Americans were white people who ate chocolate too much. Is that a fucking Celebi? I would totally call a Celebi Celery if I got one. Um, but yeah, now you know. Um, Confirm, Keckles hates black people. That's not true, I don't. Um, no, I was just a really dumb kid and it was immediately explained to me by the black family sitting in the booth next to us that that is indeed not how it happens. They are just born that way. Boy was my face not red because I was three and thought it was funny. Looking back at it, still pretty funny. Please don't hate me. Okay, got Pokeballs though. Embarrassing story aside. Um, let's see. We'll actually get to Pokemon in this episode because we're not even at a gigabyte file size yet. I don't know how long that means we've been going, but we've been going for at least 15 minutes because I seem to remember saying it was 5.10 at some point in this recording. 
So we're going to get a Pokemon on this route, then we'll hit the town, and then we will go north, and we will get a Pokemon there, in that route. So what's it gonna be? Please be a Carnivine. I'm tempted to just kill it, but I'm not, because in case the unthinkable happens to Blubbernug, I need a replacement. Pokeball, go! And please just catch it, because I really can't hit you with Blubbernug, you will die. Yay, I caught a Ninkata. What should I call the Ninkata? It's obviously based off a ninja, so maybe I should do something... ...with an Asian theme, perhaps? Hmm. First thing that came to mind... ...was Gyoza. Okay, so now we have Blubbernug and Gyoza. Watch this be a fucking Carnivine. Good. Just out of spite, I think I am going to make Gyoza watch me kill its sister. Bada bing, bada boom. You are now a frozen bug. Is Ninkata just straight bug and Ninjask? Or... What is it? Doesn't the... there's... There's a Ninkata, Ninjask, and Shed Ninja, I think, but I don't remember... I think Shed Ninja's the weird one, but I don't remember how you get Shed Ninja. Mm, I don't know if it was a stat thing or what. Never really used Ninkata. Did I use Ninkata? I don't know. I don't really like bug types. And we're getting a Trico! What did I just... what did I say earlier in this recording? This is... This is what the fates are giving us. Fuck me, right? At least I got Blubbernug. At least I don't entirely hate Ninkata and Trico. Oh! A defiant one, huh? Maybe we have to put him six feet under. Or I could... Water gun him. That might not kill him entirely. But if it does, there goes type coverage for stuff that's weak against grass. So we'll try it one more time. See what happens. It's dying. We will water gun it because I know powder snow will in fact kill it. This might kill it, too. I guess not. Maybe it wants to join the team. What can we call a Trico, though? See, it's green. It's a gecko. This son of a bitch. All right. Sure, whatever. We'll water gun you one more time. You're probably gonna die because that did over half your health before, but eh, whatever. I don't want you anyway. I guess we're entering and and blah, 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 blah. ending this episode with Blubber Nug and Gyoza. And Gyoza needs to level up a little bit. God damn. Cause Blubber Nug is already at level 10, and Gyoza is only at level 2. So uh, thank you guys for watching this very boring and monotone episode because, like I said, I am very tired. 27 minutes is about how long this episode's been going for. That's a pretty good timer. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Definitely not recording anymore tonight because I am now falling asleep in my seat. I'm probably going to sleep until sometime in the afternoon. Um, I hope there was at least some fancy word, modicum, modicrum, something of enjoyment received from this episode. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. I guess I'm so professional. Woo.